two, one, go. What's going on journalists, Irving Philly, Sean with thefitnessjournals.com and I'm introducing you to a new series. This series is called Calisthenics Talk. So before I really get into that, what was that video at the beginning that you just saw? Now, shout out to our first sponsor of this video, which is called New Air. So New Air, look, as calisthenics people, we like things to be convenient. We like to be minimalistic. We don't like to have a ton of stuff, a whole bunch of bulky stuff. That is why. This fridge is special. It's nice, it's compact, as you can see right there. It can fit right down there in my room. It doesn't take up a lot of space, keeps everything cool. I think it fits 126 cans. So shout out to New Air. Product is great, it looks good. And like I said, as calisthenics people, you know we're minimalistic. It's just the way our brains operate, right? We try to make the most out of what we have. There you go. So go ahead and check the link in my description. If you do want a little deal on this product, go ahead and check it out. Now, what is Calisthenics Talk? So Calisthenics Talk is really uh, talking about like this stuff in the calisthenics community. So from various topics, could be talking about different athletes or talking about competitions, um, commentary news on stuff about calisthenics and just having a good, nice, fun time. Cause you know, like calisthenics, I love calisthenics, man. I love calisthenics, and if you're here, I'm pretty sure you love calisthenics too. So the first topic of this video, we're keeping it pretty simple. Pull-ups. Pull-ups, what about pull-ups? Now, hopefully, if you're in calisthenics, you got a pretty strong pull-up game. Don't get it mistaken for pull-out game. Now look, pull-up game, uh, in this video, I'm really gonna be like critiquing. Do I have the right to be critiquing people form? Nah, yo, get down, bro. What kind of, nah, yo, get off the bar, bro. What you know who you're talking to, bro? That is not reps, bro. That doesn't so what count. is that? That's not reps, what is that? bro. That is not yo, reps. Yo, do you know who you're talking bro, to? Get out of bro, the way, bro. I am bro. Bam Bam, bro. bro I watch this. this part. Watch this. Yo, watch. Yo, what are you doing? How is, is that, that high? You gotta get high, friend. Probably not. No, I definitely do. <laughs> I'm Irvin Felix Jean. <laughs> He's so great. We love yeah. him. With the fitnessjournals.com. So, of course, I can critique people for him. So, I'm gonna type in here pull up competitions. Now, what is the standard of being. Of, of doing a proper pull-up. Now, scientifically, we're gonna follow that or the generally accepted um, pull-up form for competition standards. It's a mouthful there. So, essentially, chin over the bar, full lockout at the bottom. That is what we're sticking with. Now, like I said, generally accepted. There might be some comp competitors, competitions, um, organizations who don't follow that. But based on the science of what a pull-up is and the generally accepted form for most competitions, that we're, that's what we're sticking with. And chin over the bar and lock out at the bottom. There might be a micro bend, but we're going with competition standard. Now, as you progress, I mean, as, as you're, if you're in a competition, if you've ever competed, you know how it goes. Chances are your first pull up isn't going to look exactly like the last. As you fatigue, your form begins to get compromised. But it shouldn't be so compromised that, like, if your head, only your forehead gets to the bar and you're like, oh, that should count. I'm, I'm tired. I should be able to get that rep still. Nope, that doesn't count. Now, do we, do we agree that competition standards should be full lockout and chin over the bar. Let me know in the comment section below. And we're gonna go ahead and take a turn to the screen here. I'm gonna use one of my video first. Um, and other videos, I'm just gonna pop up and see what comes up. So right here, this is the Bar Stars competition uh, that we had, it was like almost two years ago, June 19, uh, 2018. And so we're gonna take a look at this here. So Irvin is first up on the bar. Let's see what's going on here, Irvin. Just give me a second here. Yeah. Irvin is first up on the bar. How many can you do 
comment below. So let's see right now. Putting on the weight vest, I think it's about 40 pounds. 40 pounds. So let's see. Chin over the bar, full lockout. Chin is still over, even though my chin is up. That is still accepted for the standard of what a pull up should be. But let me know, would you guys accept this in a competition? Let's see. I think so far, so good. I'm not kipping, even though my legs are coming up, it's not a kip. It's tightening when I'm tightening the, uh, tightening the abdominal muscles. It, it causes my deflection of the TFL, tensor fasciae lata. You know them things. Irvin with the double bicep flex. Now we have another competitor up. Now, we're looking at the form here. That's what we're paying attention. In this episode of Calisthenics News, Calisthenics Talk, pull-ups is what we're talking about. So let's see, is this accepted? Are we accepting this? Chin over. How is that lockout? I don't know. I Quite frankly, I wouldn't give it. I wouldn't give those. There we go. I would give that. The chin wasn't over. I wouldn't give that. No count. No count. But he's a he's war he's a warrior, man. He's holding on. He's going. He's going. Shout out to the Marines. He's not letting go, even though he's boom. He got. He going. He going. So, like I said, what would you? What would your stand? Would that be an acceptable standard in a competition? Here's what I honestly what I think. Um, so let's say, for example, in a competition, right? If one person, if you're, go, if it's like two people going head to head, if one person has immaculate form, how it's supposed to be, chin over, full lockout, and the next person has somewhat questionable form, but they're still getting those reps counted, honestly, if there's a review process, the person who has the better form, that's what you count the standard, standard as. That's what I believe. So if during a competition, for example, my battle against Dark Knight, even if, so when I was doing the muscle ups, I was chicken winging the muscle ups. And even though to a degree I was almost catching up, if I had won, technically I would have not taken that win because his form was pretty much immaculate all the way, all the whole way through. So that, based on that, if it's going through a review process, like, hey, okay, he finished first, but who had the cleaner form? That's what would count to me. So it's the person who had the cleaner form, you use that as a standard if it comes to like something like that where it's like okay you finish first technically you finish first so you won technically based on who finished first but you didn't win because your form compared to his form his form was a lot better it took him a little bit longer but you cheated through so that's what i'm talking about there but anyway uh I'm matter of fact, let's go check out one more video calisthenics competitions um Let's see, pull, I'm just gonna, let's go check out Cali Muscle here. Cali Muscle, 35 straight pull-ups. Okay, okay, so far, let's just fast forward real quick through here. Okay, you talking about the Wookiee got a woman with a sack booty? That's why he wears gloves? What do you think about gloves? What's the glove, the, the glove discussion going on here? Should you be wearing gloves when you're on the bar? <sighs> Only if you hold a purse. Look at my hands, man. My girl don't mind. My hands are still pretty soft. Okay, Cali Muscle, let's go. And is Cali Muscle on steroids? Am I on steroids? What do you guys think? But nah, look, for real. Cali Muscle, I'm gonna keep it real. I, I think you on steroids, bro. One. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here. You did two reps. So far, if this was competition standard, that would be no reps for a calisthenics competition. Now, don't get me wrong. As a bodybuilder, look, not to say like this is this is actually still working out. He, him doing these reps are still working out. You're still engaging those the the, the lats, the rhomboids, um, the the traps, upper, middle, lower traps, terrace muscles. You're still engaging that. This is working to the degree hypertrophy for sure. But like I said, calisthenics competition standard, no reps. Okay, number two, this is two, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, why would it not be acceptable? 
eight. Now he's good on the lockout, but the chin going over the bar. And I, I see some people in the comments talking about, oh, it's because he's too big. And you know, that's why, bruh, stop it. I have seen, we live in New York City, Brooklyn, people of all sizes coming out into the park and they're doing reps. It's not about being too big, so relax. The, the bottom line is, he's just not doing it competition standard, which is fine if your goal is to get hypertrophy and work. But like, I'm don't say pull-ups. Don't say like, they did 35 pull-ups, this, no, no. I'm not accepting that. That's not acceptable. So let's continue here. Eight, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, and, oh, and he tricked us. He tricked us, you know why? Because the count that you see at the top of the video isn't how many reps he's doing. I think it's like the amount of seconds. Nice try, Cali Muscle. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man, what is this? Hyphy mud. <laughs> All right, we're gonna look at one more video. We're gonna look at one more video. Hyphy Mutt. No, but shout out to Cali Muscle. Dude is a beast. Strong. Whether you want steroids or not. Look, the bottom line, it, my, my beef isn't with like, if you're on steroids. Like, look, if you're on steroids and you know what you're doing, more power to you. My whole thing is like, if you're on steroids, but then you're telling people you're not. It's kind of like, you know, deceiving the people. People are trying to achieve your standard. And you're like, well, you can do it by eating Hyphy Mud. Bro, what? Come on, son. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna randomly select the video. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna click. Oh, nope. Okay, let's see. We got a body weight strength. Spartan girls. Let's see what's going on here. Spartan girl. Okay, this doesn't look like pull-up, so I'm gonna go back. And then we're gonna wrap up with this last video. Whatever video I land on, close my eyes and click. Real form pull-ups plus 32 kg. Adam Ra, yo, Adam Ra is a monster. I have no doubt in my mind that Adam Ra is gonna do immaculate form. Even with the additional resistance. That's 72 pounds, let's see. I skipped through the fresh out the box. They took the they took the, the the kettlebell fresh out the box. These ain't fake weights, man. No Bradley Dingle um Castleberry or Dingleberry. Which one is it? Look at that form. That is that is, bruh, bruh. Adam Ra, salute. And Shin is over the bar, over, net to the bar, the the, the clavicle to the bar. Yo, I can I'm, I don't even gotta watch anymore. Proper form. This is proper form. As proper form as it gets. With the additional. 72 pounds, he's clean, these reps are clean. I see, you know, you know, look, the reason why real calisthenics guys don't work out in the gym, cause the reps are so clean that the janitor wouldn't have a job. You know what I mean? Like, we clean that gym up. Guys like me, when I go into the gym and I'm doing my reps, my reps are clean. And the janitor, he ain't got nothing to do because we clean it out straight up like that. But anyway, that's it for today. Calisthenics news. And one more time, shout out to our sponsor, New Air. Shout out to you guys. Love the fridge. Um, not going to lie, for the most part, it's been used as a nightstand. But I definitely, like, I'm going to start using it. It is a good fridge. I just... I'm never home. But anyway, that is it. Make sure, look, if you guys like this new series, let me know what's another topic that we can talk about. I'm gonna try and do this at least once a week, every Sunday. I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, let's do it. Like, just have, a, let's just have fun. Let's chat, let's talk, um, discuss topics like this. Like, you know, just a fun little topic. Talk about it. Probably might, some people might get offended by this. And quite frankly, I don't care. Just keeping it real. So anyway, that is what this series is about. Calisthenics news, calisthenics talk. I'll find an actual title for it. And we'll just be talking calisthenics, talking fitness, having a good time, um, pushing each other. It's, it's still that good energy, still that good energy. Like I said, if you don't wanna be talked about and I come across your video, then get off the internet. Simple as that. Anyway, make sure you like that 
like that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I'll see y'all in the next video. Three, yeah, yeah. two, one, go.